Hashem Morabu Zoroi Rabin Komim Komim Oloi Rabin Komim Komim Oloi Rabim Oi Meri Lenafshi Ten years ago, many people in the Jewish community, if they had a sick child that had cancer, wouldn't talk about it. They were ashamed. Rather than trying to find out from community and friends what else can be done and how do we deal with this, they couldn't deal with it. They didn't feel that they could, besides having that burden itself, that they could even bring it to the surface. One of the most amazing things we've actually done is we've made it all right to reach out. It's just devastating. It is the darkest period of their lives. And it takes tremendous help for them to cope and get them on the track to help them deal with this crisis. You're talking about their own child. And, and it's a very, very difficult situation for them to deal with it. And the volunteerism and the help that they get from High Lifeline just helps them trying to cope and bringing them through this crisis. <laughs> These volunteers, for the, for the most part, is really it's the best and the brightest in what we have in the Jewish community itself. These people understand exactly what's going on and realize they're part of what they're here for, they're part of why they're around, is to in some kind of way make a difference. You cannot work as a volunteer with, that, with the children of High Lifeline without having your life touched. It affects you. High Lifeline would be nothing without all those volunteers. All we really did was took a concept itself and these people really brought it to life. They made it happen. Shabbos delivered to the hospital. Somebody else is taking care of it. You need a ride to the hospital because your husband has to go to work. High Life Run will step in and try to get that ride for you. You've got a four-year-old that you've got to go to the hospital with. You've got a two-year-old at home. Your parents aren't around. Your husband has to go to work. You've got a babysitter for you. The child's 15, 16 years old. Came out of treatment. There's nobody who's <clears throat> falling behind in school, in the Moody Kodesh. It's a tutor step into this process itself. We try to deal with the parents that need guidance, doctor referrals, uh, assistance as far as paying bills, uh, helping them fill out insurance forms. We help deal with the child that's sick, be it uh, the volunteers that come to visit the child, the tutorial program. We've just finished running our third annual retreat where the entire family comes to the retreat. We have various speakers and programs and psychologists trying to talk to the parents, the sick child, and the siblings to help them through this moment of crisis. <laughs> Oh,
We look back and I, I, I'm amazed that uh, in the beginning when we first began the program itself, we had an, an unbelievably difficult time convincing parents to allow their kids to take some time off from the family, that this was something that was doable, that we'd actually take care of the kids properly itself, and that they'd be able to get a respite. It was something they just couldn't begin to understand. And we had to struggle to convince them to let those sick kids come to camp. And then as soon as they got to camp, it was the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life. When we, Rabbi Scala tells us, you know, we have 150 applicants for camp and we only can service 110, it's soul searching when the board has to go through and know that their decision might eliminate a certain amount of children from attending the camp. It's a very difficult thing. The population's always been there. We just didn't know about them, they didn't know about us, but we couldn't service them. But now as they know about us, the numbers are there and we're just not able to provide enough facilities because we don't have the, the uh, financial support to do it. Unless somebody else is willing to step up to do this, unless there's some other solution to this right now, it is the Jewish community's problem. And all we really is a conduit to allow the Jewish community to create this support system. <laughs>